When the river was taken away, we lost all the knowledge that we had that pertained to the estuary, all the mātauranga, because the kai disappeared, um, the flows, the currents, all those things that tie you to a place disappeared too. So this, what we're doing with this project is giving our, our next generation all the new knowledge, so we're tying them to this project so they learn as the river comes back, all the new knowledge that's generated by this re-diversion. So that's my passion just now, to pass on that knowledge. Yeah. So my name's Paul Baker from JSWAP, I'm the contractor's representative. So we've been on site since June and most of that time has been spent setting up sites so that we can get in and do the physical works. Uh, behind me we're, we're building a new stop bank and overlay so the purpose of building the stop bank first is that then we can open up the new channel and uh, protect behind the stop bank from flooding where we do the new channel. The guys really enjoy working here when it's sunny like today. It's a really unique area and it's nice being near the ocean and actually doing something different. There's not many projects that you're re-diverting a river and working in these sort of conditions so everyone's really excited about it and enjoying it. So this is the Slinley block that we're building behind me here. Its um, intention is to block the salt from short circuiting to the new river alignment. Um, and this is stage one, the bog rock fill. Um, my name's Millie Farquhar. I work at the Bay Plenty Regional Council as the project manager for the restoration of Papahi Kahawai Island, which you can see here behind us. Today marks a pretty special day for Papahi Kahawai Island. It's now officially an island. The causeway was removed by J-swaps over the past couple of days. Um, the sand has gone into the stop bank overlay. Um, and yeah, today marks a day that the island is now an island and the only access is now from Makatu Spit. We're gonna have increased tidal flushing now that there's full access around Papahi Kahawai Channel and also from the main estuary into the, um, the northern part. So we should see a decrease in the amount of dense um, algal mats. Right, so if you, uh, you can see the estuary here, you can see down there, that's a mai mai for the duck shooters. They've been here many, many years, duck shooters all on, on the, this, this estuary. Now all of this, you can see there, you can see the shallow areas. Now pre-closing of the diversion of the, of the Kaituna to Tetumu over there, that was deep, it was very deep. You couldn't walk in there. You could take a boat with an outboard motor through there. That's how deep it was. And now look at it, and this is the result of the diversion of the river. It's completely destroyed the Kaituna down this end, uh, what we call Te Awa Ngātaroirangi. Um, all along in there, it is mud. It is mud. You couldn't walk in it because you disappear. Um, so to set a net for flounder in there, you have to have a dinghy in most areas, and you have to work from a dinghy because you can't walk on it, it's just too muddy.